The Chesapeake Lightcraft Teardrop Camper is built inside what they call a cradle. Wrong box. Those aren't cradle parts. Those are cradle parts. CLC packs the parts well, but packing tape must be super cheap in Maryland because they used miles of the stuff to pack my kit. As I took the parts out of the boxes, I wound up with wads of the stuff. At least everything was stuck together well and didn't shift around during shipping. When assembled, the cradle looks a bit like one of those wooden 3D dinosaur puzzles. You know, backbone and ribs, and in this case, another backbone. You'll see what I mean in a bit. The joints are puzzle joints. They can be a bit tight, so you need to tap them in place. Although they are tight, they can also be a bit gappy. Don't worry about it. The butt blocks, big oval thingies, will make the joint very strong. I glued the joints and tapped them flat with a wooden mallet. Because I didn't want the cardboard glued to the cradle, I put some plastic under each of the joints before I glued them. I know neat freaks will cringe at how sloppy I'm being here, but being neat and tidy whilst gluing the cradle isn't necessary. As long as you don't glue the cradle to the floor or your workbench, that's the kind of neatness you're after here. What you want is enough glue that the cradle is strong. I had some Type Bond 3 glue that was getting pretty old, so I figured I might as well use it up. If you're building a kit, look at the cradle carefully along the inner edge. You'll see tiny holes drilled into it. Make sure you don't cover up one of those holes with a butt block, and give it some space. Later you're going to need to put a wire stitch through that hole. I managed to put the butt block right up against one of those holes, and it's difficult to hit the stitch holes with the wire when you have no space. The butt blocks are glued and screwed. I used one inch drywall screws and I used way more than the six the book suggested. There are 289 in a box, apparently, according to the box. I figure I can reuse them. If you don't have a drill driver or a power screwdriver, I strongly suggest you get one, or you'll be screwing around in your workshop all day. Literally. The one inch screws turned out to be long enough to have about a sixteenth sticking out the other side of the puzzle joint. I didn't worry about it much, but they are pointy, so if you somehow scrape against the joint in the cradle, you could get a scratch. I backed the screws out a tiny bit after the glue dried. They probably don't add much strength at that point. Here's one of the little Bamstons now. And another. You wouldn't want to kneel on that while assembling the cradle.
With everything flopping around, it would have helped quite a lot to have someone to hold up the first few pieces while I slotted in the rest. Oh well, it worked out in the end, and it wasn't that difficult to get it done by myself. After the cradle is slotted together, it's held together with more one-inch drywall screws, one in each joint. It's pretty flexy at this point, but as you put the long sections of the cabin into the cradle and stitch everything together, it gets more rigid. Putting the cradle together is one of the easiest parts of the build. It's hard to get it wrong unless you glue it or screw it to your workbench, and glue drips, dents, and scratches won't show in the end. Your most important decision will be what you want to make out of the parts after you don't need them anymore. Maybe I'll make a giant dinosaur puzzle. Construction of the camper has gone much faster than the editing of this video, so I'll be doing more videos soon. Thanks for watching.